This video is brought to you by the Ridge Wallet. Welcome back to the best Android setups of October 2020. This time I have five awesome setups to show off, most of which have been grabbed from our Reddit page called How To Men. So if you'd like to submit your home screens for a chance to be featured in the next episode, be sure to click the link in the description. Also, if you'd rather watch my videos in Spanish, be sure to check out my second channel called How To Men In Español. We translate every video from my main channel onto the second one. And we also made a Facebook page so you can enjoy my content on there as well. Both links are in the description. Anyways, the first setup comes straight from my Reddit page. It was submitted by Samuel underscore 8200 and he calls it visual art. He used a template within an app called Prism for KLWP and he modified the setup a bit to make it pop more. It's a single page that separates the apps and widgets into cards to make the screen look a lot more organized. The first card has 15 apps that you can change within the KLWP settings. I'll go over how to do that in a minute. Right below that, there are two similar cards for the weather or the music player. Tapping on either of them brings up an even bigger music player or a larger weather widget for a better forecast of the next two days. Then you have a search bar that lets you hide all the upper widgets when you tap on it. And finally, there's a dock at the bottom and a custom status bar at the top. Now my favorite thing about this setup is how easily you can customize everything. You just tap on the settings icon and a large menu will slide in with various buttons, toggles, and switches. Here you can modify various elements without needing to jump into the KLWP settings. You can easily toggle the dark mode, enable a shadow for each card, blur the wallpaper, and change the strength of the blur, drop a color filter on top of the screen, or even change the wallpaper quickly with 12 options to choose from. So that's everything within this setup. I wanted to show off how I set this up, but since the tutorial will be really extensive, this is the timestamp to jump to the next setup. Anyways, first we need to download three apps, KLWP Live Wallpaper Maker, KLWP Live Wallpaper Pro Key, and Prism for KLWP. Those three apps are the foundation for this setup. From there, I recommend you use Nova Launcher. Actually, for all these setups, I recommend you use Nova. And within the launcher settings, you'll need to disable the dock and status bar. On the home screen, you need to remove any widget or icon. Now to enable the theme, you'll need to long press on the home screen, select wallpapers, then choose live wallpaper, select custom, tap on the gear icon, select the hamburger menu, load preset, tap on prism for KLWP, and it'll be the first template called Afterglow Things. If the setup looks weird in the preview menu, scroll over to the globals menu and change the first setting to one page instead of scrollable. From there, within this same global settings, you can change the wallpapers within the wallpaper picker. Most of my wallpapers came from an app called Joy Walls. You can also adjust any item on the home screen like icon size, margin, snap bar, etc. If you want to change the icons, you can scroll over to the items menu, scroll down until you see change dock icons here, tap on dock, then icons, and then choose the app you'd like to change. For example, if I wanted to change the music icon, I tap on music, pick image, select the hamburger menu, and then choose whatever icon pack I'd like. I was originally using Nebula icon pack, so I went with that to make the icons pop more. Within the app, I searched for Spotify and tapped on it. Then it should jump me back to the KLWP settings and the icon should change. Finally, scroll over to the touch menu, tap on launch app, then app, and select the app that is appropriate to the icon you chose. For me, it would be Spotify. Now that I've changed the icon and set the trigger, I can do the same for the rest of the apps. And if I'd like to change the 15 icons within the first card at the top, I just need to go all the way back to the main menu of the settings and under items, scroll down until I see change more icons from here. It's the same exact process as with the icons that we just changed in the dock. Finally, after all that, you can tap on save, select set as wallpaper, set wallpaper, home screen, and that's it. You should have the same exact setup uh, also, sorry for the long tutorial, but it's necessary. I created this next home screen and I call it Living Spook. It's a Halloween theme since it's October and with this setup, I was aiming for a scary, dark, and somewhat modern look. It's also not that hard to recreate. The wallpaper comes from an app called AMOLED Walls and the name of the background is Halloween 1, but you can also choose to use Halloween 2 since it has a similar format. It gives me the creeps because the wall has the living dead rise from the grave and there's also a giant moon in the back to add a bit more spookiness to it. I also love how everything transitions to a pitch black background. The widget on the main screen comes from an app called Fuchsia for KWGT. And the widget name is 000A6. It displays the month in all caps and the color fades from orange to black. The weather is right below that and then there's also a tiny little music indicator. I did modify it a bit by changing the colors of the month to make it fade from orange to black. 
and I changed the fonts. The font that I use for the month text is called Scary Halloween, and then the smaller font for the weather and music is Hollowed Grounds. I'll make sure to include the download links for both of them in the description. The icons at the bottom are just my essentials and they're themed using an icon called Desaturate. The desaturated colors of the icons leave them black, gray, red, and orange, and which is perfect for a Halloween theme. Finally, the screen to the right just has a single widget that looks like a Satanist symbol, I guess, but really it's just a fancy analog clock. It comes from a pack called Cheesecake KWGT and the widget name is E3. I put the setup on my Twitter and everyone loved it, so if you want an awesome Halloween setup, this is it. Now before I move on to the next Ender setup, I wanted to tell you about my new favorite wallet. It's the Ridge Wallet. You know, it's crazy how all of us have moved on from the old fashioned flip phones, yet we still carry around a behemoth of a wallet that was designed in the 90s. I don't know about you, but I got tired of having to carry around a wallet that I could barely even fold. The Ridge Wallet speaks a different story. It's light, sleek, compact, extremely durable, has RFID blocking technology, and it looks a lot more modern. There's also a lot of extra features that come with it. For example, it can hold up to 12 cards and there's a strap or clip to hold your cash. There are over 30 different colors and styles to choose from, including matte black or burnt titanium. Those are the ones that I got and they look super sick. Purchasing a Ridge wallet comes with a lifetime warranty. It's free shipping worldwide. And since the Ridge team is so confident that you'll like it, they can even provide a full refund of up to 45 days. Now that's impressive. To top it off, these wallets have over 30,000 five-star reviews, so it's obvious that people really love this thing. If you're interested in picking one up, be sure to use my promo code HOWTOMEN to get a 10% discount and use my link rich.com slash HOWTOMEN to support the channel. That's rich.com slash HOWTOMEN. The third best Android setup was also submitted by Samuel underscore 8200. This guy's on a roll. He calls it Camel. It looks clean, simple, and the widgets fit in perfectly with the wallpaper. There's only one screen and two widgets with a couple of icons. The top one comes from an app called Lucent KWGT. Within the pack, the widget number is 322. It has a search bar that lets you quickly Google things. Below is a detailed paragraph of the weather forecast. And when you tap on it, the weather app launches. Right below that is the time and the day of the week. Tapping on those opens the clock app or the calendar. For the widget at the bottom, it's a mini music player that's also from Lucent KWGT. In the app, it's called 303. You can skip or rewind, play or pause, view the track info, or open the appropriate music player. It's a simple widget that fits in perfectly at the bottom. Moving on, the icons come from an icon pack called Nebula. It's the same icon pack from the first setup that I showed off. I love them because the colors and higher contrast makes the icons pop and it's especially important since I set the icon size to 90% within the Nova Launcher settings. Finally, I love how the background separates the upper elements from the bottom, keeping everything organized. The color scheme is also beautiful. It makes it look like there's a sunset with a camel walking in the desert. It comes from an app called Well Papers, and the name of the wall is Camel 3. So if you want a beautifully organized home screen with widgets that will give you a ton of information, Camel Setup is the perfect option. The fourth best Android setup for October is the most minimal one. Sometimes you don't need a ton of widgets or bells and whistles to have a spectacular looking home screen. This one is submitted by Onoxium and it's called Simple Setup, appropriate name. It's got a blue gradient wallpaper with a giant clock widget, some beautiful icons in the middle and a music player towards the bottom. I did spice it up a bit by changing the static gradient wall to a live wallpaper called Wallow. It's an awesome live background that cycles through gradient colors that match the actual sky in your area. For example, throughout the day, the colors will be light, such as blue, red, yellow, etc. And as the sun sets, the colors will get darker to help reduce eye fatigue. It's pretty neat. The clock comes from an app called Avocado KWGT, and the widget name is 058 underscore clock. It just shows you the time and date in a really big text. Moreover, I like how the text is a bit transparent to differentiate between each variable. As for the icons in the middle, they're themed using an icon pack called Mio. They got that modern flat style look and I can't hate on the Squirrel shape. It's a bit refreshing from the same old circle icons found on every native Android device. Finally, the widget at the bottom is a basic music player with simple controls and it comes from a KWGT app called Aphimus. The widget name is Aphimus underscore 11 and I love how some of the text is also transparent to follow the theme of the clock widget. That's basically the entire setup, simple, minimal, and no clutter. Last but not least, I saw the setup on Twitter by the developers of a widget pack called Cubs KWGT, and I thought it was really cool. So if you download Cubs KWGT, you'll obtain these neomorphic widgets that look like they extrude from the background. It's extremely dope. I chose to combine widget number 60 with wallpaper number 106. 
It's a great combination since the widget's green colors follow the Android logo in the background. And each block within the widget will open the appropriate app. It shows you the time, weather, date, location, and a music player. It's also a simple setup, but definitely something refreshing. Anyways, that concludes the best Android setups for October 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed my selections. If you did, make sure to drop a huge thumbs up and get subscribed while you're at it with the notification bell turned on. Don't forget to check out those amazing Ridge wallets through the link in the description, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!